Hello, welcome to your latest update from the Met Office. The cold feel continues and will continue actually for much of this week. The wind's perhaps not quite as strong on Wednesday compared to Tuesday, but there's still a noticeable chilly breeze blowing across plenty of showers with some sunny spells in between. This low pressure brought the wet and windy weather through Bank Holiday Monday. It is pulling away, but only slowly, and we're left with the northerly winds behind. It's bringing the showers. In fact, perhaps more persistent rain for a time over northern England, the Midlands, Wales. This band of showers continues to drift slowly southwards. As it clears, the winds, certainly inland over northern England, southern and central Scotland, will ease enough to allow frost to form. Temperatures will drop everywhere, though, close to freezing. Even towns and cities only a, a few degrees above freezing to start Wednesday. Uh, unseasonably cold for the time of year. So a chilly start, but actually a largely sunny one over southern Scotland, northern England, to eastern England. More showers than uh, Tuesday for Wales and southwest England. And the showers will still be wintry over northern Scotland. So over hills, yes, but even to lower levels, sleet and snow is possible, certainly in the morning. By the afternoon, notice the showers are breaking out quite widely. There will be spells of sunshine between the showers and there will still be a cold wind blowing. Temperatures are going to struggle again. 9, 10 degrees. Temperatures will suddenly drop as well when the showers come along, maybe up into the teens across the southeast with the help of a bit of sunshine. But so, although the wind's not as strong, it will still feel chilly in that breeze. Temperatures, oh, well, this is what it will feel like with that wind, 4 to maybe 8 or 9 Celsius, so single digits across the board. It'll turn pretty cold on Wednesday night as well. We'll see a bit more in the way of wet weather coming into northern Scotland. Again, snow likely on the hills and for a time down to relatively low levels. And the threat of more persistent rain coming into the far southwest and certainly across the Channel Isles as we head into Thursday morning. Again, in between those two weather systems, clear skies, lighter winds means a more extensive frost on Thursday morning. Really quite a cold start uh, with temperatures, again, in towns and cities down very close to freezing and rural spots likely to be several degrees below. So it's a cold start to Thursday, sunny start for many. There will be that wet weather across the far south. Some uncertainty about whether we see it grazing the south coast of England. And then that weather system across Scotland will bring showery rain into parts of northern England. And that will have some snow mixed in over the Pennines as well. Sunnier skies there, perhaps across the Midlands, Wales, and um, if that weather system stays to the south, much of southern England too. So uh, with lighter winds and perhaps a bit more sunshine, even though temperatures are still below average, it might feel just a little bit warmer for a time on Thursday. But certainly chilly sums up really the rest of this week and chopping and changing day on day also. For a full week ahead forecast, you can visit our social media channels. Make sure you stay up to date uh, by following us on Twitter and Facebook.